Hey, it's Larry Melissa from Tri County Golf Ranch. And Larry, we wanted to talk to people about quad stretch today. Right. So we believe that all the major load bearing joints need to be parallel to each other and parallel to the ground. So what does that mean? That means that your shoulders are parallel to each other this way and parallel to the ground. Hips the same, knees the same, ankles the same. Right. So you'll see people warming up before they go out to play and they might be leaning on their club, but they, they're trying to do a quad stretch. Right. And they're, and they're like this and it doesn't do you any, any good, good because you're not level whatsoever. Most people can't stand here and be level in their hips or their shoulders while they're trying to do a quad stretch. Not very many. Most of them are bouncing around. Right. And I've seen, you know, little peewee soccer and they're like, hey, they're, yeah, and they're, they're like, like dancing this, around and, and it's like, oh my gosh, it's the place. worst thing that you can do. Right. So there's two other ways that we can achieve this. The first one is to use a chair or um, a, bench a bench seat. or actually the golf cart yep. works. The, um, the handlebar. The handle on the golf cart. And the whole idea is that my hips stay parallel, my knees stay parallel, and then I can actually squeeze my glutes and sit back just a little, but keeping my shoulders over my hips and get a really good quad stretch here. And that's attainable for most people. Right. And then the second way you can do it is actually lay on the floor. The ground, take a towel. You're gonna lay on your belly. And if I'm doing my left leg, my right arm is gonna go out straight and I'm gonna reach back for my left foot and then I'm gonna relax. Kind of Stretch and relax. Yeah. And if I want just a little more tension, I can, I can squeeze my glutes and push my pelvis towards the ground and I get a deeper stretch there. And then I would switch. I'd hold that for like a minute and then switch. But what I also like to do, and this isn't available for everybody, but I like to grab both of them and then go into what's called bow pose and actually feel like I'm pushing myself up. Right. And this gets the psoas along with the Is that the your belly pushing down? Um, you could say like my pelvis yeah. is kind of pushing down, yeah. but at the same time I'm lifting up with right. my chest. And when I do that, I get a total heart opener across the front. And then I'm also warming up my psoas. Right. Um, making that more open. What, what I don't want to say stretch. Bow, is that what you call it, a bow? Bow, because you look like an archer's. Bo. Yeah. So anyway, there are many ways to do a quad stretch, but just make sure that you're doing something that's actually helpful and not right. something that's going to hurt your body. Yeah, when you're standing up and you're wobbling and you're not really getting anything done. Absolutely. So if you have any questions, let us know. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Thanks and have a great day. Thanks. Have a great one. Hi, it's Larry and Melissa again. Thanks Hi, so much for watching our videos. If you have any questions or want to get in touch with us, you can email us. You can call us. Text us. Texas. But be sure to subscribe. <laughs> down on the bottom down there. Thank you.